Let's get it on! Okay. One thing I gotta tell you that's a pleasure for me about this, as Bo cuts Holyfield with two overhand rights to start the fight. The George Foreman, a heavyweight championship fight. Bo, all the action so far, and there's a hard right. Bo should never try to waste that kind of energy on a fighter like Evander Holyfield, who recovers. Jesse Ferguson thing gave him a false sense of security. Bo, we're talking about clean living. He's eating a lot of, lot more pork chop than Evander Holyfield. Spare ribs and everything. You notice, George, they use the end swell under both of Bo's eyes between rounds. Evander Holyfield is setting things up for a good right hand. He's jabbing to the body to get this guy conscious of a flush for Holyfield. And now Bo tries to show off his in-fighting skills. Drop him. Bo should just stick, stick with his left jab. ...himself with this jab. Good right to the body. That was good. That time the right caught leather from Holyfield. Holyfield pawing with the jab now. And lands a right hand that Holyfield had tried to glove him in the eye. First, he's yeah, been he, doing a lot of headhunting. Yeah. Right hand by Bo. And then the fight so far. The clowning I told you about. <laughs> Holyfield starting. All because Riddick Bo decides to champion. You just can't clown with certain guys. So little with so much effort. Holyfield leaping in and taking a right to the body. And the left shot. Card. You and Larry have a disagreement here about yeah, those everything techniques. is under and there may be blood beginning to emerge from Bo's left eye. Holyfield lands a right right on the target. And a left hand for Holyfield. And they swing and swing after the bell. And look at this. This is either the end of the fourth round or the start of the fifth. Take your pick. I've never seen so many blows landed after a bell. Have you, George? Not many. As he tried to target the cut. That's there true. he lands a right hand and Bo comes back. Short left hand stuns Holyfield and knocks him back. With Muhammad Ali, I wasn't in shape, but I said, I can whip this old guy. He is hurt. Oh, he's hurt. Holyfield gunning for a stoppage here. Stuns Bo again. Something he doesn't know how to do now is just get aggressive. Well, he's always been aggressive. He just hit, hit a lot of himself. Boom. Great combination by Holyfield. And another one. Bo standing still at center ring and taking it. That right hand landed flush for all the difficulty he suffered at the hands of Frank Bruno. That's true. Now he's getting a lot of the same from Holyfield, but that right hand may have turned things it's around. Hard night, because the Holyfield goes forward. That way again. Right hand for Holyfield. Stuns Bo, and Bo comes back fighting this time and lands a right hand on Holyfield's chin. Someone has said... And somebody in a parachute has just landed on the edge of the ring, has been pulled away by security guards. The fight has been brought to a halt. As round seven resumes. It's hard to bleed in the cold weather. And here comes Holyfield. As they finish out round seven, up to now, Holyfield has looked much the sharper of the two. And the combinations are coming really. Still the same 246-pound guy, and you say not as good. <laughs> Hard right hand inside by Bo to the side of Holyfield's head. Backed him up for a second. His right hand. Now, this is a mistake for Holyfield. Nose, and bound to affect the vision in the left eye, and Holyfield takes advantage with the right hand. From the slugfest. Another left-right combination by Evander. And three more shots. Sets up the right hand again. In there again. With this guy, hurt him and get it out of the way. Holyfield staying in, becoming a target. Solid right hand inside that time. 
Another right hand. Left right combination. Double left hook by Bo, maybe the first time in the fight. Holyfield comes back with two left hooks of his own. And an uppercut. And another flurry to end the round. Bo may have the advantage. Why wow, Holyfield lays in there, Holyfield although he's got muscles. Him. Yep. Trading and trading now. Right hand by Holyfield inside, rocked Bo back. And start all over again. He gives Bo a chance to come back with an uppercut of his own. Major power of Riddick Bo, that uppercut, and knocking Bo's mouthpiece out with a left hook. Another tremendous rally. As the crowd chants, holy, holy. Right hand that he has. If he gets it, he can win this thing. I think Evander Holyfield has taken the polish. Changes at close range against a guy regarded as a terrific infighter, or so it would seem. Evander Holyfield believes in it. Why is that kind of right hand? Evander Holyfield has been waiting for that right hand all night. It's the same one that dropped. Ten seconds to go in the 11th. He got him again. Got him again. This right hand shots by Holyfield. 105, 104, six rounds to five of Ender Holyfield. But for the first time, Witherspoon, Ali, and Patterson as the only four men ever to lose and then regain the heavyweight championship of the world. I think a lot rests on this round. Holyfield shouldn't try to cruise this through. George, he's never cruised through a round in his life. He just hit Bo with the biggest right hand of the night. And Riddick came back with one of his own. Yeah, he tried to cruise a little bit. He doesn't understand. You can lose a fight waiting. Bo comes back with the uppercut, trying to hurt Evander while he has his mouthpiece out. Bills Lane tosses the mouthpiece. You're right, George. Riddick's got a huge chance here. And he's going at it with everything he's got. Right hand by Holyfield. Crowd rises to its feet. For the second year in a row, they fought the fight of the year. And once again, heavyweight champion of the world from Atlanta, Georgia, Evander.